Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ogier from Your Point of Tech and this is the Asus ZenBook Flip S. This thing costs 130,000, which is similar to this year's high-end model of the costliest iPhone 10s Max. And we are going to find out what exactly this offers that it is priced so high. And should you really spend so much money on this baby or not? Yeah. Let's get started. Now when you think of buying a laptop, what is that one thing you think first? Specs, display, hardware, all of the above if it costs over 1 lakh, isn't it? Well, this machine packs in almost top end specs which includes Intel Core i7 8th generation processor with base frequency of 1.8 GHz and a turbo boost up to 4 GHz. It comes with a 13.3 inches of Full HD 1080p display with a Corning Gorilla Glass on top and a 178 degree wild view technology and 80% screen to body ratio. It has a 512 GB of SATA 3 SSD along with a 16 GB of LPDDR3 RAM. On the graphics part, it has only integrated graphics that is HD 620 which makes it less gamer friendly machine. But the main USP of this machine is not its gaming capability but it is this. Yes, it is a fully convertible laptop with a touch display so that you can use it as a tablet also. And for all your touch needs, Asus has also provided this small stylus in the box itself which can enhance your productivity task. This thing is completely made out of metal and this makes it super premium in build and design department. It weighs just about 1kg and it's 11.2mm thin. Damn, that is so sick. You have this beautiful gold color finishing to the borders which really adds up to this blue color. Talking about the color options, you will get it in two options that is royal blue and smoky grey. Moving on to the connectivity options, on the left you have a USB Type-C 3.1 port with a 3.5mm audio jack, power indicators and a vent for heat to pass on. Then to the right you have another Type-C port and a fingerprint scanner, volume buttons and a power button as well. Moving on to the keyboard, it is a full size backlit keyboard with a 1mm key travel. The buttons are tactile but not something that I would recommend to anyone who want to type for a long time. Talking about the trackpad, again no complaints here, one of the best trackpad experience you will find on any laptop. Performance wise as I said it is running on the i7 8th generation processor which will surely will let you do any task without any lag or stutter. For anyone whose main usage is to perform any minor task from watching videos, browsing web to using heavy editing softwares like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, this laptop can handle anything that you will throw at it. The only area where it couldn't perform good is while playing heavy games. No graphic card is the biggest disappointing factor for me and considering the price, at least a 2GB of discrete GPU would have been better. Battery wise it was a good experience though. I used it continuously for 4 hours and the battery dropped around 80% with casual browsing, movie watching and using photoshop for some time. So in my opinion it should give you around 5 hours of battery life with moderate to heavy usage. But one thing to note is that the back portion and specifically the air vent area gets pretty hot even while charging and after using it heavily. Which is acceptable as it is having a full aluminum frame but not when it gets pretty hot. Now as we know it is a hybrid machine so you can use it as a tablet as well. As soon as you fold a keyboard it gives you an option if you want to use it in a PC mode or a tablet mode. And if you are worried about what happens to the keyboard as there is no specific spot to hold it and you might press the buttons accidentally, well as soon as you fold a keyboard the whole keyboard gets disabled automatically. So you know no accidental presses. Also, this stylus really helps if you are someone who like to draw on the laptop. If you are into drawing or doing any work related to drawing such as Photoshop, Paint 3D or Corel Draw, etc. Then this comes really handy in my opinion. And the good thing is that it comes within the box so you don't need to buy it separately. Talking about the fingerprint scanner, the placement here is different than the other fingerprint scanners that I've seen on other laptops. But as far as accuracy, it is good and gets the job done. Then talking about the display, it is probably one of the best 1080p panels so far. But I would have loved to see even higher resolution display considering the price point. But yeah, it gets significantly brighter and the colors are natural with crisp and clear viewing angles. So to wrap up, it is a great portable hybrid machine 
and if you are really into the architect work or if you require a laptop with a touch functionality then you should really go with it for a normal consumer who don't want a touch screen laptop then spending over a 1 lakh on it will not be a wise decision in my opinion still if you want to buy it then the direct buying link is in the description below thank you guys so much for watching this has been amog talk to you in the next one